So I'm going to talk about ARKit. Last November, uh, Tim Cook said, AR will change the way you use the technology forever. AR will transform the way you work, play, connect, and learn. So that shows pretty well the vision of Apple right now about AR. But there's less than 2,000 ARKit apps available on the App Store right now. So right now, it's really the opportunity for us uh, to start using ARKit and think about what we could do with AR glasses. So I made Twitch Reality, the first ARKit uh, client for Twitter. So it looks like that. And uh, I want to share with you guys today what I learned through this experience. So I'm going to show you how to do a great ARKit app. Uh, there are four ingredients to this uh, ARKit app. Uh, the first one is about the ideas. Uh, right now, we're seeing, we're seeing quite the same things all the time. Uh, we're seeing a lot of measuring apps. We're seeing, seeing some games. But we don't see a lot of uh, breakthrough uh, ideas. So I think the question to ask is, why does Apple do ARKit? And the reason why they do it is because they want iOS developers to get into AR and uh, think about the AR glasses. So the best way to think about a good AR ID is not to, to try to do something similar to what exists, but to think about what we would like to experience using AR glasses. Timing. Um, right now, there's everyday new AR apps uh, that, we, that are released, a lot of new products. A few weeks ago, we saw the Ma Magic Leap one uh, that were released that are very promising. Uh, so it's the opportunity for us to be the first and to not be a follower and bring more users and attention to our apps. User experience, uh, we all uh, tried uh, Pokemon Go, but why was it successful? The reason why uh, uh, Pokemon Go was successful is because of the user experience they created. This is the core value of any AR app. It's really the experience that people are going to have with, your, uh, with the, the device and with your app. So you have to think about two things. You have to think about a lot of animations, uh, like this is the IKEA app that was presented, WWDC. And uh, you have to think about step-by-step -step tutorials, because it's very important and let users uh, get along very quickly with your app. The fourth uh, idea is the integration. Like right now, ARKit is still kind of gimmick, because it's not very convenient to use uh, AR with your phone, because after quite a while, you're going to be tired to all your phone. That's why there's not that many apps. Uh, but what you can do is instead integrate ARKit features into your app using, for example, location or, use, or for example, placing objects in the real world and let uh, users interact with. Or uh, Apple is also providing a lot of uh, UI kit elements like these uh, buttons. And uh, this is uh, some examples of the human interface guidelines uh, from Apple about AR. So you can get some inspiration from this to integrate it in your app even if it's not an ARKit app. So to sum up, it's really the perfect time for us to get into it and uh, the opportunity for us to craft new, amazing uh, user experiences. So good luck with your ARKit app. Thank you.